Hello, the topic for this video is going to be to solve first order differential equations of this type with the help of Euler method, which is this. To start the problem, we should first make the table x0, y0, y dash 0, and y1. Now, what is the value of x0? x0 is the starting point. x equals 1. So, over here, you should put 1. Now, x0s should increase by a certain increment, which is 0 0.1. This is normally denoted by h. But for us, we'll just do this plus 0.1 so we get 1.1 and we should drag it to 1.5 now to get better results we can even make it longer so say up to 2 now what is the value of y0 this is the initial conditions so this is the value of y0 you should come here and put the value of y0 Now what is the value of y dash 0? y dash means this thing here. So it should be y plus x at the initial conditions. So in place of y plug in 2, in place of x plug in 1. So y dash 0 should be y0 plus x0. Now the value of y1 comes from the Euler formula. It should be y0 plus h. h is the increment, which is 0 0.1 times y dash 0. Press enter. Now your y1 will become your new y0. This should become your new y0. Now these two become your new x0, y0 because we are at this line. So y dash 0 at this point should be this plus that. And this again using the Euler formula should be this plus 0 0.1 times this. And that's it. Select these three columns to the end and drag it down and these two table give you the solution to the problem so what you should do is select these two columns go to insert scatter and pick one of them this is the better option it will give you the point as well so this is what the graph of y looks like. Now to get the equation of y, select the graph, go to layout, trend line, more trend line options, and see which one of these fits the points exactly. So let's try this. This is pretty good. This is not good. This is also pretty good. Generally, the solutions to differential equations are exponential functions. So we will select this. And to know the equation of the function, we should click this. So that's the equation of y. So this is the solution to this problem using the Euler method. And this is how you make the table for it. I hope this helped.